All right, folks, how you doing? So I'm going to be reacting in this video to this scene from the movie Outlaw King. So this is the wedding ceremony. My lord, my lord, my daughter, Elizabeth. Now, right off the bat, a lot of people may not realize this, but Elizabeth is actually a Jewish name. It's Hebrew. It comes from, let's see, it's Elizabeth, also Elizabeth. My God has sworn that was the name of the mother of John the Baptist. Comes directly out of the Gospels, the Gospel of Luke. And they're descended from the daughters of Aaron, who's the brother of Moses in the Bible. So it's a very, very Jewish name. But a lot of people don't know that. My lady. My lord. I like that they're observing um, courtesies. Now, Robert the Bruce himself, if you haven't seen other videos I've made about him or about Outlaw King, he's of very mixed lineage. He has Norman, Irish and Jewish ancestry. It's Judeo-Norman. Uh, but Elizabeth the Burr is also the same. She's descended from an Earl of Ulster. So she has some Irish blood. She has some Norman. Very probably Jewish, I mean, given her name. <laughs> it's a dead giveaway. So they're both very, very similar in terms of their ancestry and the mixture of the lineage. And it's very interesting how the Irish and Jewish seem to mix in. That's a subject that I'll be talking about extensively in the future, but the connections go all the way back. You know, uh, probably talk about it a lot on Unslaved in future episodes, but the connections are absolutely there, you know, between the Jews and the Irish. But, you know, everything so far is a win in this. Now, Craig Miller Castle, where this scene is being filmed, is pretty obviously Craig Miller because I've been there. It's in the south of Edinburgh. And funnily enough, Craig Miller is not really a military castle. It's most connected with Mary Queen of Scots. I visited there like two, two and a half years ago, maybe three years ago. And, um, it, you know, it wasn't really a, a castle castle type castle, if that makes sense. It's not like Stirling Castle or Edinburgh Castle. It was actually used for R&R, basically, rest and recreation. So it's kind of amusing to see it, you know, being <laughs> dressed up as like the main stronghold of Robert the Bruce. <laughs> totally different monarch who used it. I mean, Craig Pillar wasn't really wasn't even really around when Robert the Bruce was alive, you know, it was a bit later. Welcome. I love that for the second that the prince is kind of standing awkwardly off to the side, like, what am I meant to be doing? <laughs> and you must be Marjorie. You know this handsome fellow? Our dog, Jesse. Okay, so we're seeing a medieval form of a leash. <laughs> Scottish deer hound. I don't know whether Robert the Bruce actually had a dog like this, but it's, it reminds me of um, Maida, the dog of Sir Walter Scott. Lady. Call me Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. It says the name is emphasised, by the way. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. In fact, the real daughter of uh, Robert the Bruce, I think it was a daughter, not that daughter, but the daughter of Robert the Bruce and uh, Elizabeth the Burr went on to marry a man called Thomas Isaac, who was Jewish, obviously. I mean, that's pretty obvious. I love the attention to detail in this movie. It's very, very extensive, like putting straw on the floor. You know, just to not be quite as cold, you know, dressed up in the gold, things like this. I mean, I don't know, this is slightly wonky maybe because Robert isn't king yet, you know, so that might be a little bit jumping the gun, you know, in terms of the timeline of the movie, but still. I do love, you know, the, the two uh, symbols here, Scotland and Uni Scotland, England at this time were supposedly unified. That wouldn't happen until 1603. Even then, that was the Union of the Crowns. The Parliaments, the Union of the Parliaments didn't happen until 100 years after that in 1707. So Scotland and England were not quite unified at this time. As you will see if you ever watch the movie. But yeah. 
Good scene overall. Thanks for watching.